General Sibling is a little known but very useful CSS selector. It allows the styling of an element that's the sibling of another. We'll look at the syntax and a practical example, and then do a quick roundup of the other child and sibling selectors in CSS. The general sibling selector is part of the family of combinator selectors in CSS, and this one is identified with the tilde character. It looks a bit like this. This selector will style any paragraphs that are siblings of a second level heading and occur after the H2. The benefit of this selector is that the paragraphs don't have to be adjacent siblings of the H2. In this code snippet, both the paragraphs after the H2 will be read, but the first one will not as it doesn't come after the H2 in the document. This can be a little bit confusing as all the paragraphs could be said to be general siblings of each other, but the selector wouldn't match the first one. This could be the reason that this selector has been renamed in the CSS selectors level 4 spec to the following sibling selector. In this snippet, even though the paragraph comes after the H2, the paragraph and H2 aren't siblings, so our selector won't match anything here. Let's have a look at a quick practical example. The summary and transcript accordions on the A to Z CSS website use the general sibling selector to determine the open and close state of each section. This whole behavior is purely handled in CSS and there's no JavaScript at all here. The markup for the titles of each section has a hidden input, an H1 with a label inside of it, followed by a div to contain the accordion content. Clicking on the label switches the checked state of the input, and then the general sibling selector allows the styling of the accordion content below. When the input is not checked, the max height of the accordion is set to zero. When the input is checked, the max height is set to an unlikely large value, um, 10,000 pixels in this case. Applying a bit of transition gives a nice smooth sliding animation. As this was rather a short episode, let's take a look at some of the other combinator selectors available in CSS. These are all supported since IE7, which should have the vast majority of use cases well and truly covered. The descendant selector has been around since forever and selects elements matching the second selector while they have the first selector as an ancestor. This selector will make all paragraphs in any child element of any div red. The grandchild selector is similar to the descendant selector, but selects elements that match the second selector if they are a descendant of any child element of the first selector. It uses the asterisk character this selector will make all paragraphs in children of a div red. The child selector, signified by the greater than sign, selects elements matching the second selector that are a direct child of elements matching the first selector. This selector will make all paragraphs that are children of a div red. The adjacent sibling selector is similar to general sibling and is signified with the plus character. This selector will style elements matching the second selector as long as they appear immediately after an element matching the first selector. So in this example, the selector will make any paragraphs that are directly follow a div red. As I mentioned previously, all these selectors are available in IE7+, so you can almost certainly use them right now. Hopefully they'll come in handy for your next project.